The Premier League is a worldwide phenomenon. Fans watch it all over the globe while players from far and wide flock to the top flight of English football. In total, 111 different nations have been represented in the Premier League, while this season I think there are 66 different nationalities belonging to the Premier League, including some youth players who are yet to make their Premier League debut, but for some reason are listed on the Premier League website, so we'll include them anyway. But who is the best from each country right now in the division? If you've ever wanted to know who the best Austrian player in the Premier League today is, this is the video for you. So let's go number one, Albania, Armando Broja. Starting things off hot, Armando Broja is currently the only Albanian in the Premier League and is therefore the best Albanian Premier League player by default. What an honour. Want to tell the kids, although he's only 18, so maybe not. Broja has played for Chelsea once, coming off the bench in a win against Everton. Number 2, Algeria, Riyad Mahrez. We've actually got more than one Algerian in the Premier League right now, but if you think Nabil Bentaleb is better than Riyad Mahrez, you need to give your head a wobble. Argentina, Sergio Aguero. There are loads of talented Argentinian players great in the Premier League, La Celso, Otamendi, even lower down the league with Buendia, but everyone else is playing for second behind Sergio Aguero. He's the best Argentinian in the league right now, and probably ever. Australia, Aaron Moy. With no Tim Cahill in the Premier League anymore, this is a straight bout between two Brighton players, Aaron Moy and Matthew Ryan. I'm going to go with the midfielder though, only just, as he's a lovely passer of ball, although Matty Ryan is a sound keeper as well. It could have gone either way to be honest. Austria, Valentino Lazaro. Right, everything says Ashley Barnes is Austrian, but I'm not counting him for this video. He played one youth game 12 years ago, the man's from Bath for Christ's sake. We're dealing with actual Austrians here, and I'm going to go for Newcastle's Lazaro over Christian Fuchs. A few years ago Fuchs would have had it nailed on, but he's regressed in recent years, while Lazaro looks like a real player since his arrival. Azerbaijan, Renat Dadashov. The one and only Azerbaijani player in the Premier League right now, and I think ever, Renat Dadashov is part of Wolves' youth system, but already has six caps for his country at the age of 20. There's not a lot else to say here, let's move on. Belgium, Kevin De Bruyne. Regardless of what country he's from, Kevin De Bruyne is the best player in the Premier League right now, so by default, he's the best Belgian as well, during a time when some of his nearest rivals have gone. Hazard and company are no more, but Kevin De Bruyne is still here, flying the flags of chips with mayonnaise and Stella Artois. Bermuda, Kane Critchlow. While we've had good players in the past from Bermuda like Sean Gota, Kane Critchlow is the only one around at this time, especially with Natty Wells joining Bristol City in January. Critchlow is in a class of his own, although right now he's only just in the water reserves. Bosnia and Herzegovina, Sead Kalazanac. While the best ever Bosnian in the Premier League is Edin Dzeko, today's is Sead Kalazanac, Arsenal's rampaging left back and Mesut Ozil's personal bodyguard. He's slightly terrifying, isn't he? Decent footballer, but scary all the same. I wouldn't boo him if I was an Arsenal fan, scared of the consequences. Brazil, Alisson. This was tough as there's some incredible Brazilian players in England right now. Joe Linton isn't one of them. But it came down to a toss up between Alisson and Edison for me, and I've gone with the Liverpool stopper. I just think as an actual goalkeeper, Alisson is the safer pair of hands. But please tell me why I'm wrong and an awful person in the comments below. I love it when you all do that. Cameroon, Joel Matip. The only Cameroonian in the Premier League, I think Joel Matip will win this one regardless. He's an exceptional defender who really proved himself last season on route to Champions League glory for Liverpool. Canada, Liam Miller. The third Liverpool player in a row, this lad's only 20 and yet to make his Premier League debut, but could be part of a bright future for Canada with the likes of Alfonso Davies and Jonathan David emerging. Chile, Claudio Bravo. The Man City goalkeeper's lucky that Alexis Sanchez left the Premier League, let's put it that way and move on. Colombia, Davinson Sanchez. As a nation they've got great attacking players, but it's defenders who dominate the Premier League, and Davinson Sanchez is the pick of the bunch, an athletic centre-half who still has a long way to go at the age of 23. Christ, that's younger than me, he's an absolute beast. Croatia, Mateo Kovacic. A straight fight between Kovacic and Lovren, I'm going to give the Chelsea man the edge, even if Lovren is the self-proclaimed best in the world. That joke never gets old. Cuba, Ornel Hernandez. I mean, he's the only ever Cuban to play in the Premier League. I couldn't pick a cigar, could I? Curacao, Cuco Martina. Again, he's the only Cur... Curacoan? Is that right? He's the only man from Curacao in the Premier League right now, so therefore he's got to be the best. Anyway, number 18, Czech Republic, Thomas Suchek. While Matej Vidra had improved before the postponement, I'm going to go with Thomas Suchek here, as he looks like he has a lot more potential as well as a bigger future in the top fight than the Burnley man. Denmark, Kasper Schmeichel. This would have been Christian Eriksen all day long until the Dean got sick of the Premier League and moved in there, so instead we're going to go with the Leicester captain who, insert joke about his dad here. 
Democratic Republic of Congo, Arthur Masaraku. I don't really like him as he's a terrible defender, but I suppose he's got to be the best player from the DR of Congo. He's got no competition. Ecuador, Leonardo Campana. The only Ecuadorian in the Premier League now that Valencia's gone, this is a young lad at Wolves who no doubt we'll probably never see. Who knows? Egypt, Mo Salah. This is an obvious one. There's no doubt that the Egyptian king is the best Egyptian player in the Premier League right now. To be fair, he's the best Egyptian player ever in any league at any point in time. Sorry, Al Mohamedi, I know you try really hard, but you can't quite hold a candle to little Mo Salah. England, Harry Kane. This was a fight between Harry Kane and Raheem Sterling, so I'll let Twitter decide. I'm at HITC James if you want to follow me. And Harry Kane came out on top, winning with 63% of the vote. And you can't argue with a Twitter poll, can you? Finland, Timu Puki. Surprisingly, there's been some good Finns in the Premier League in years gone by, but right now Timu Puki is a lone wolf, flying the blue and white flag after a fantastic start of life in the top flight with Norwich. France and Golo Kante. Another one decided by a Twitter poll, again I'm at HITC James, and Golo Kante came out on top of the poll in a triple threat against Paul Pogba and Imeric Laporte, and I can't believe the disrespect shown to Pogba, I thought that this would have at least been close. Either way, personally I'd have given it well on St Maxman, but then again I'm biased. Gabon, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang Even if there was another player from Gabon in the Premier League, Aubameyang was always going to win this, he's the best around. Germany, Leroy Sané a few years back this would have gone to Mesut Ozil, but that ship sailed and now Leroy Sainz is the best Germany has to offer in the Premier League. A wizard on the wing who I've missed watching this season. Ghana, Jordan Ayew. I don't like him but he's playing well and scoring a fair few goals, so I suppose he has to be Ghana's best. I couldn't pick Christian Atsu, could I? Or could I? No, it's Ayew. It, it's definitely Ayew. Greece, Socrates. Smashing plates, eating kebabs and a financial collapse. These are just some of the Greek stereotypes, but when it comes to the Premier League, Arsenal defender Socrates takes the prize, as there's no contest between him and Jose Holobas. Guinea, Naby Keita. The only player from Guinea in the Premier League today, I think we all expected more from Naby Keita, but hopefully there's more to come from the Liverpool man when football resumes, providing he's fit of course, the poor bloke's always injured. Iceland, Gilfie Sigurdsson. While Johan Berg Gudmundsson is decent, he's not the king of Iceland, that'll always be Gilfie Sigurdsson until he leaves the Premier League of course, I'm not sure if Iceland actually have a monarchy, I can't be asked to check to be honest. Iran, Alariza Jahanbaksh. To think, you were so concerned that you came from Iran. The only Iranian in the Premier League this season, Jahanbaksh went from a total waste of money to goal of the season contender with that bicey against Chelsea, what a goal. Israel, Beram Kayal. The bright midfield is lucky here, kind of, as he's only made the video because his loan move to Charlton was cut short due to injury. At the end of the day, he's no Yossi Benayoun, that's all I'm saying. Italy, Jorginho. There's a distinct lack of Italians in the Premier League right now, but Jorginho is without a doubt the best, and no one else even come close to him, really. Bring back the days of Giuseppe Rossi and Simone Zaza. Ivory Coast, Wilfried Zaha. This was a hard one to decide, but I'm putting Zaha ahead of Pepe, just because we haven't seen enough from the Arsenal flyer just yet. Anyway, Zaha should have been an England player, what a farce that was. Jamaica, Wes Morgan. Wes Morgan and Adrian Marriott are the Premier League's only Jamaicans right now, but Morgan wins the Battle of the Asian Defenders, basically since he captained Leicester the title and all that stuff. Japan, Takumi Minamino. Well, I haven't seen much from the new Liverpool signing, but he's got to be better than Yoshinori Muto in Newcastle. I mean, the poor lad's heart's in the right place, but God, he's awful. Korea Republic, Son Hyung Min. Is Son the best Asian ever to play in the Premier League? It's up for debate, I would say yeah, but I imagine Man United fans will point us to a certain Park Ji Sung. Marley Musa Gineppo. Simply because of that goal he scored against Sheffield United at the start of the season, that's why I'm putting Gineppo ahead of Basuma from Brighton. End of discussion. Mexico Raul Jimenez. The only Mexican in town right now, and he's an absolute class act. Possibly the best Mexican ever to play in England. It depends what you think of Javier Hernandez, I guess. Nah, probably is Hernandez, isn't it? Montenegro Matias Sarkic. Born in Grimsby with a Montenegro international, Matias Sarkic is an Aston Villa goalkeeper. And that's literally all I have to say here. 42, Morocco, Romain Saiz. The Wolves man wins ahead of Sofian Bufal, as he's a consistent performer who's proven his worth during Willy Bolly's absence, while Bufal blows hot and cold more than an aircon does. Netherlands, Virgil van Dijk. No arguments here, of course Virgil van Dijk's the best Dutchman around. He's a world-class talent, and only his teammate Ginny Wijnaldum actually comes close. And even then, even he's miles behind. New Zealand, Chris Wood. 
The Kiwi juggernaut Chris Wood is the Premier League's best from New Zealand, especially now that Winston Reid's finally gone. Christ, his career went to nothing, didn't it? Nigeria Wilfred and Didi. No, Audi Nogalo is not the best Nigerian in the Premier League. It's got to be Leicester midfielder Wilfred and Didi. He's just immense. One of the best holding midfielders in the Premier League today, and he's only going to get better. Northern Ireland Johnny Evans. From a Leicester youngster to a veteran at the King Power, Johnny Evans is an expert when it comes to defending, and I've still got no idea why or why Man United decided to sell him all those years ago. What a shocking decision that was. Norway Sanderberger. Sorry Josh King, there's a new Norwegian powerhouse in town, and his name is Sanderberger. While King has had a longer, more impressive career in England, Berger is only just getting started, and we're hopefully going to see something special from him when football returns. Paraguay Miguel Almiron. Come on, how can you not love Miguel Almiron? Look at his little face, he's lovely. And he's a lot better than Fabian Balbuena, his Paraguayan rival in England. Poland, Lucas Fabianski. An excellent goalkeeper and the best pole in England, Fabianski has come a long way since the days of being called Flappy Hansky and looked like anything but a goalkeeper during his Arsenal days. Well done sir, well done indeed. 50 Portugal Bruno Fernandes I do love Bruno Fernandes, I really do, and that's why I'm saying he's the best Portuguese player in the Premier League right now and not Bernardo Silva. I love Silva as well, I just think what Fernandes has already done at my United in a short space of time is amazing, whereas Silva is kind of just one of multiple stars in a stacked Man City side. Republic of Ireland, Matt Doherty. This is more of the Irish guy's wheelhouse, on account of being Irish and all that, but for my money I'm going to say that Matt Doherty is the best Irishman in the Premier League. Not Seamus Coleman, not Shane Long, definitely not Jack Grealish or Declan Rice, but Matt Doherty. Scotland, Andy Robertson. Keeping it close to home, Andy Robertson is the Scotland captain and definitely the best around, and will remain so until Kieran gets his finger out and proves why Celtic fans loved him as much as they did. Robertson is a fan favourite though, for his off-field annex as well as his performances on the pitch. Senegal, Sadio Mane. One of the best players in the league and the world, Sadio Mane is one of the best Africa has to offer, never mind just Senegal. Serbia, Nemanja Matic. Despite his ageing legs, I'm going to give this one to Matic over Milivojevic, and it wouldn't even have been close if the Palace man didn't take penalties and free kicks. Slovakia, Martin Dubravka. A two horse race between Dubravka and Duda from Norwich, it's got to go to the Newcastle stopper. He's one of the best in the Premier League outside the top six, no questions asked. South Africa, Thagko Lishabala. A lesser youth product, the 20 year old is the only South African player in the Premier League, and by default, he's the best. Sorry, there was someone at the door, I'm just going to leave that in. Spain, David Silva. Until the Premier League ends, David Silva will remain the best Spanish player in the Premier League right now. His time in Manchester is coming to an end, even if the current season is delayed. But when it does end, Silva will go down as one of the best players ever to arrive in England. Even in his latter years, he's still the best Spain has to offer, which is a testament to his quality. Sweden, Victor Lindelof. A Man United defender who's had a rough start life in England, Lindelof has started proving people wrong, and he's obviously loads better than Emil Kraft from Newcastle. Switzerland, Jordan Shakiri. This one was really tough. Xhaka is alright, but I couldn't pick him as the best, while Shaw is decent too, but I think Bias would get in the way of picking him. So instead, I'll go with Shakiri, who really should be playing more football, rather than just sitting on the Liverpool bench scratching his balls. Tanzania and Barna Sumata. When he arrived in January, he became the first Tanzanian to play in the Premier League, so therefore he has to be the best. I mean, to be honest, I couldn't name another Tanzanian footballer. Turkey, Kagla Soyuncu. I mean, he's better than Cenk Tosin, isn't he? No one's even watching now, are they? I can just say whatever I want. Bogies. Ukraine, Andrei Yarmolenko. A controversial one late on, I'm actually going to go for Yarmolenko over Zinchenko, as I think Zinchenko just kind of looks good in this current City team to a certain extent. I'm just being controversial here for the sake of it, really. 63, United States, Christian Pulisic. He's probably going to be the best American player ever, so of course he's the best American in England right now. Johnny Edlin just runs fast, that's not enough to be Pulisic. Uruguay, Lucas Torreira. Unrivaled, there aren't any Uruguayans left in the Premier League except for Torreira, so that settles it. Zimbabwe, Marvellous Nakamba. Marvellous by name, sort of marvellous by nature. And finally, number 66, Wales, David Brooks. Finally, we've reached the end. What a stupid idea this was. David Brooks is the best Welsh player for me. I'd put my head at Harry Wilson, and the real stars of Welsh football play away from England, so it's got to be Brooks. There we have it, that's the best Premier League player from each country right now, blah 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 the end. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, give it a share, subscribe to the channel. If you're still watching, God bless you. I need to lie down, Christ.